we have now the reissue of excavation, excavations of the mind in our hands, and we have this beautiful photo collage. It reminds us of the time when we recorded this album, because we have all these nice pictures of when we uh, were very young and recorded this album. It's been a while now. Yeah, it's been, it's been like that's not, not even years. ten years. It's been twelve years because uh, this yeah. album was recorded in two thousand and eight. I remember back then we were very stressed about the studio time we had for recording the album. Because uh, I know we, uh, Chris, Vic, and I, we studied at the uh, conservatory. conservatory. Yeah. The studio was the the studio of the conservatory. So we had we had to book the place uh, in advance, and we booked it like a couple of months in advance. Yeah, for an entire week, I think. Yeah, I think for an entire yeah. week, and we had one or two days for drums because yeah, I think two days for drums. Hoe je bij het drumstel komt? Ja, hier onderdoor. Eerst ga je op die versterker staan. Dan maak je een salto op de schot. En dan slinger je via het gordijn zo op de kruk. Hoor eens even. Au! The whole thing was done in one week. Yeah, Chris only could make it for <laughs> one day. That's actually quite crazy. Uh, Chris only could, could make it for one day, so we had to record the bass guitar in one day. Wow. Um, and he didn't know the, all the songs yet, so it was pretty epic. Greg was teaching me all uh, the music on the spot, so uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was my studio session. <laughs> yeah, one day we started at 10 in the morning, and at 8 in the evening we were done. Chris was on his holiday and Tom didn't even start it yet. No, so I can't I, even remember the studio session. No, it was the session. I think, I think we did that like months later. I got no clue really. Yeah, yeah we did. And now Rick and I, we just... Uh, no. We took a lot of time. <laughs> we just, yeah. we just <laughs> went bananas on the keys. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah.
Je zien, we, je zien wij een kind aan het werk die je net een nieuw speeltje heeft. Geef toe, dat is een vet geluid. So for the first time that Tom joined us in the studio, we had some epic moments as well. So we said to Tom, well, you can make this record more awesome with your guitar solos. Just play every, everywhere guitar solos. So it doesn't matter. Just do just whatever do, you want. Just do whatever yeah. you want. We didn't even discuss like what the chord progression was. No. Like. <laughs> so <laughs> sort it out, dude. Yeah. And, and, uh, and we the solo really... on Excavation of the Mind, the last, the ending solo, yeah. it was like... Wasn't it like the first or... I think it was the first take. I think it was the first take first that you take. played. I think it was actually the only take. Yeah, the only take <laughs> that you yeah. played, yeah. Yeah, sure, no backups. No. Oh, no, this is fine, this is fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I and then the solo in Deep Chasm. And, yeah. and we, we spent, I don't know, in, in my memory, hours doing that part. And you were like, no, just, just do something. Do, just do something awesome. Alright. Yeah, sure. What's the first note? <laughs> yeah, uh, it's, it's a, like an A minor chord, but it like it lasts for like one count. <laughs> so we just do something, and then we came up with the solo on the record. Yeah. Like half a year later or something, or maybe longer. All right. Because it was summertime when we recorded the instrument. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Just before the holidays. And um, maybe the, the the year after we recorded your guitar parts and the vocals. Yeah. yeah. And I can remember that lyrics have had only been written partially. Yeah. Like they're we recorded only been like written yeah. with these and stuff. We recorded the songs without having any lyrics. Only fake ideas where some lyric parts should be. Yeah, we had a lot of melodies. Uh, we had some melodies, yes. Yeah. We're, is, we're, we're, we're more of like composing melodies and, and Tom was the unlucky yeah. one that had to sing them. Like, yeah, can you play guitar? Yeah, sure. And can you do singing as well? Yeah. I'm like, yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> and yeah, yeah, everything just happened in a way. But yeah, yeah I, I never. I never actually quite was a, a singer. You became a singer in Sky Art. Mm -hmm. I tried to be one. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I think also this uh, album has the most layers uh, of any album we did. So much layers of. Yeah. Uh, not only yeah. different instruments and overdubs, but also. Parts. Microphones. Oh, well, so <laughs> yeah. that's true. Yeah. 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 Too many, maybe even. <laughs> For example, when we recorded the grand piano, we had all these crazy ideas oh. of using this microphone and this microphone for, yeah. for this part of the grand piano and this. And we, I remember using the kick drum mic for the bass strings and all these room mics. Yeah, it's like what, eight or twelve yeah. microphones for yeah. one grand piano? I remember building, <laughs> building like a room within a room with all these panels we had. And it didn't, didn't really matter because the room sucked. Yeah. <laughs> room, room, room it didn't sound very nice. We got a better room, I think. Uh, because, yeah, because uh, 
with uh, uh, the other songs, we build a, a drum booth in the corner of the studio. And it's yeah. quite small actually, but then we discovered that... Uh, and you can yeah, build like a hexagon. Uh, yeah, for the great legend, we put the drums uh, almost in the middle and then we put a, a circle of um, panels around it. But also we experiment with how much space there should be between, between the panels. Yeah. And that actually... Uh, was quite nice. <laughs> it worked really well, but it was only on the great legend that we used it. My so favorite is uh, and uh, great legend. Actually, it's weird. It's um, I like to play it live. I think uh, the song just speaks to me the most. Oh, maybe the great legend is the kind of, uh, from that period, the kind of archetypal sky architect song. Yes, every. Uh, also with Deep Castle, I think those two songs for me. Yeah, yeah great legend was written and recorded way after we came together as well. Yeah, yeah so it, that was. It might be for me that it's the fact that we became uh, sky architect. I think so too. I think uh, Grand Legend is more a Sky Architect song than the other songs. The other songs are, yeah, they are composed. The other songs are very excavations of the mind songs. Yeah. I heard Waves, uh, the Seraphines, that's uh, how Sky and I was called the before pre Tom and I. Pre architect. I heard the demos, and Russian Wisdom was one of the songs in there, I think. Yeah. But, yeah. That was a very song. Yeah. Yeah. song and that, so there's even yeah, that. Yeah, that even. was the, the, the reason why I get into it. Like, you should do something with that, you know? And if you need a bassist, I'm there. <laughs> Later, Deep Castle became my favorite song of the album. But um, yeah, it ages well. That's all. If you, you listen to it five years later, if you, if you didn't hear it uh, for a long yeah. time, then you still discover new things. Uh, that's the thing I like most about it. Yeah, it's yeah, fresh or something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think Deep Chasm is my favorite as well, just because I have the best memories, or the most memories of creating this song. It's just like, I, I, I can remember so many times we, uh, Chris and Wade and I, sat in that studio just behind the grand piano mostly, and just yeah, just uh, thinking of specific melodies and also specific chord prog progressions and t talking about it afterwards in the cafe beneath the school. Yeah, yeah, right. so, yeah, I think especially with that song we used to talk about it so much and discuss about which particular notes we exactly. should play and actually nowadays we don't talk about it. So much at all. No, we don't but care we about which notes we play. <laughs> well, we just, maybe we just kind of uh, have a feeling of what what notes are the right notes for yeah. a Sky Architect song. Yeah. We don't have to talk about everything. Yeah, but then we had to figure out what our yeah. sound was, I think, also. I think, I think we were pretty obsessed with the music we wrote. For the amount of time we spent talking about these notes in, in, in these songs, there are still quite a few uh, mm, well, Easter eggs uh, <laughs> yeah. to be found in the in the album that yes. we later discovered. We we should maybe have discussed those parts a bit more <laughs> because there are like very very yeah. weird intervals or very weird uh, note combinations together yeah. in, in in other parts of songs where we just rush through yeah. through uh, yeah. making yeah. it and. Well, it's, it still sounds cool, but it has a really weird vibe to it if you listen to it now very carefully. I remember that the label con uh, contacted us uh, and it was uh, about the artwork and he said, yeah, maybe Mark Wilkerson can do the artwork. And I remember that Wade and me and maybe also you, we came up with this really crazy concept for the cover of the album. Uh, because it was, we knew it was going to be called Expression of the Mind, so we yeah. had the idea with, oh, with, you have the, yeah, like, a head without the top of the head, so it was I like cut off. Exactly. And our idea was that you, yes. You can, was that like you can see a city or something, yeah. in, 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 in a dick, dick side. Inside the brain, yeah, you can exactly. see the dick side. 
and uh, there were <laughs> all these little people. Uh, we went with little like pickaxes and yes. stuff like and that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, we wrote the whole story about it. And so I remember it, sketching it as well. He yeah. sent it to yeah. Mark, maybe you can <laughs> 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 yeah. Do we still have that picture? And, 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 yeah, yeah, maybe. We and then Mark said, yeah, let me try something different. <laughs> <laughs> How about you know? Yeah. 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 It's turned out pretty nice. But, I, I totally forgot this, but. Yeah, well, maybe we should do yeah, something with it still. It's all elaborate concept, you know, all these little people walking around inside somebody's brain. Yeah, yeah. This was a bit like an Escher-esque uh, concept. I remember uh, seeing a movie and being inspired by it. It was a really crappy movie, but it had this moment, like a Dante's Hell, where these creatures had no half heads, and thinking, oh, that would be cool. Yeah. Oh, maybe we can uh, use it for the next album. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, absolutely.